Hello, Macy here. While I've been flying around the cosmos recording my Wonders of the Kerbal System series, I've also been pursuing my obsession with these single stage craft, these spaceships, as you were. So, this is Interplanetary Corvette Elysium, my pride and joy, because I believe that this is the craft that is going to take me to other planets in single stages, with the help of some refueling, of course. So I've been testing this extensively because I hate designing a craft and realising it's not going to work halfway through a long and arduous mission. So I just want to make sure this can land on another planet. And I like to carry out these sorts of tests at the Space Centre. Um, so in atmosphere, worlds of atmosphere, can it land? I believe so. Nice, quite steady. Now you can see that the design is a bit X-Wing and I think I was influenced somewhat by a popular sci-fi series um, but it is quite practical because it gives a lot of lift at the back where the heavy engines are and that's really where you need it so we can land in worlds of atmosphere but can we land in a vacuum because I want this ship to be able to go literally anywhere so I've put a secondary landing function on the back and vertically it can land also so I believe this ship can go and land on everything so I'm thinking of maybe doing a series where I go and find all the Easter eggs but to do that and for this ship to get anywhere I need to refuel it so this is automated orbital silo alpha um, there will be a, a beta and various others so I've designed this to be as light as possible and very functional. Its brain, if you like, is a probe body. And I've got both sizes of docking ports at either end. But that's basically just a double Rocker Max fuel canister, just full of fuel. So I can refuel these modest ships with Elysium a couple of times. So I'm going to need to populate the system with these fuel silos. And this is only the first. Uh, watch out for my next episode where I'm going to try and take one to lathe. Bye for now.